One of my common topics in extension teaching and in my programming is fixing acidic soils or low pH soils. The way we do that is the application of ag lime. Now, I often get just some basic questions. I typically go too far into the application of it and I just don't cover some of the basics. So let's go into the basics of ag lime today. So ag lime is really starting out as a rock form. It starts out as limestone. We are taking those big chunks of rock that is dug out of the soil, the same rock that's uh, put on dirt roads and in parking lots, and grinding it down to a very fine powder. Limestone is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. Now this is very important as we start talking about the soil system and wanting to increase soil pH. Now, acidic soil is a soil system that has too many hydrogen ions in the system. So you, you basically have a bunch of hydrogen floating around in the soil and not enough hydroxides. To change soil pH, to raise soil pH, we want to take some of these hydrogen and turn them into hydroxides. Now how we do that through limestone is the conversion of we first we put in this finely ground rock, finely ground limestone as a calcium carbonate. The carbonate breaks off so we have CO3 splits off, grab these hydrogens and we have the evolution of CO2 and H2O. We start breaking those off so we take a oxygen from carbonate and we put it over on hydrogen and we steal hydrogen out of the system. We can actually take two hydrogen out of the system with that so we have carbon dioxide and water. That is our first and one of the most important reactions that we get with limestone. Now the second reaction is on the soil particle. So we have the soil particle right here that has a negative charge and it is holding all of these hydrogen ions onto it because hydrogen is positive, the soil is negative, opposite attracts. Now we put calcium in the system. The calcium part of this is really important. It's a two plus and we want it to go in there and kick off hydrogen onto the soil surface, kick it out into solution where the carbonate can then turn it into water and we have calcium replaced on the soil particle. This is the basics of how we change taking an acidic soil and turn it into a neutral or a soil that has the right combination of hydrogen and hydroxides. Now while calcium carbonate is our primary lime source, we have other lime sources called dolomitic lime. That is a magnesium carbonate. It is just as good source. We're just using magnesium to replace the hydrogen instead of calcium. If you want to learn more about how liming helps the soil system and the chemical processes behind it, I have lectures available online. The link to those can be found at sunup.okstate.edu.